All right, everybody, welcome back to this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. So last time where we left off is we started the Brotherhood of Steel. I did a little research probably halfway through the episode and I realized that the way, the way I'm going for the ending of the game is uh, Yes Man, where I'm going to try to take over the strip myself. That's why I got to go talk to get the chip from uh, Benny and Caesar's Forts. So I got to make my way over there eventually after I finish this DLC. But I realized with the ending I'm going for, um, once I found out about Yes Man, uh, the Brotherhood won't even won't even actually work with Yes Man. So there's only destroy the Brotherhood or make an alliance with the NCR. They won't work with the, the Legion, obviously. Nobody should work with the Legion. Um, so the only option is really NCR. And that's not the ending I'm going for. So, I started some of their quests. I didn't go far enough to get power armor training. But I did go far enough to get the Goss rifle. Do I even have it with me? Yes, I do. So, I don't need power armor training. It's not re really necessary for the game. It'll help out a lot, but I don't need it. So, I went the self-destruct route. Down in the, I think, left side of their area in level 2. You can go to the simulators... And self-destruct is uh, in initiate the self-destruct sequence in their whole area. So I destroyed them. I got a Goss rifle after the two enemies, Paladin Ramos and some other some other Paladin, uh, followed me out. And I got a Goss rifle off him and repaired it. So that's what I went for. But now we're going to carry on with the final DLC of this Fallout New Vegas game. Uh, yeah. So started off with the Sierra Madre Dead Money. Went over to Honest Hearts with uh, Zion Valley. Then Old World Blues with uh, Big Mountain. And this is the Lonesome Road. The final road to take. Yeah, I guess in the Divide. So, let's start. The coordinates you receive lead you to this canyon filled with storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the Divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers, level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find out with you. You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey proves too difficult you, you or you need to return to resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you are prepared, then continue on, the, continue on into the storms of the Divide. History awaits. Walk the Lonesome Road. The silo? This place looks even more like a Fallout like than the Mojave does so far. What's up here? Is there anything? Duffel bag? MRE, nice. This place looks even more ruined than <laughs> anything else I've been through in the Mojave so far. You might notice my voice is still messed up. It's just not going away quickly. And sometimes I record in the same day, so... This part and the last part it was actually filmed at the same day. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Ooh, that's a cliff right there. Be careful. This is Hopeville Missile Silo. Dude. This looks sick. Look at that view. I see the divide. Jeez. Literally like an earthquake. Split the whole place. This is pretty sick. Hopeville Missile Silo. Make a save before we get too far in this one. One of these times that electricity is actually going to hurt you. Okay. I'm expecting something to just pop out and start shooting me. I want to take...
maintenance access, level three. Is that that door? Yeah, okay. Utility still? What is here? Arc welder. I want that. Take all of this. It's blocked off. Ooh, med kit. Auto inject stim pack. So what is this arc welder? Is that actually a weapon? It is. I don't know how good that's gonna be, but I'll hold on to it, I guess. Oh, is this uh, another ED? That's ED. Is there a different ED, or are there just like a bunch of these robots? Talk ED. What was that sound you played? Some kind of memory glitch? No, it wasn't your boot-up sequence. It was a recording. Something about someone called Ralphie. Probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Oh, it's Eddie. Sorry. Been pronouncing yes. it wrong. Success. <clears throat> Um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with a dish-shaped receiver console in the main room had one of those, I think. Was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Maybe you'll see him again someday. I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Let's keep moving. So... It says optional. Have him uh, access the commissary for me. I don't know where the commissary is, honestly. You can find that out, though. I don't need you to do that. Let's go to... Where's the commissary? Let's look at local map. Here, come back over here, Edie. Eddie, sorry. Did it again. Oh, he unlocked it already. If I turn this on, will he be able to access the... Commissary? Utility. I want to check one more time if there's anything I missed over here. It's probably in there where I have to go. That's reactor as well. I can't do anything in there. Is that another nuclear cola quantum I almost missed? Quartz. Sorry. So I'm guessing I have to 
What's a reactor? What's on that side? That requires key, so I gotta. I guess I gotta activate it. I don't want to activate the panels and just start a freaking missile launch. It still says optional, so I guess I can. Let's head this way. Ooh, I bought I bought upgrade circuit board. Nice. I wanted that a lot. Why are you scared? If they come at you, I'll just shoot them. Open desk. Second level security code. I'll take the pistol. Where's the commissary at, though? What's wrong? Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley. There you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too... You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him! Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. You don't have to tell me, I would have beat the crap out of her. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? So where's this commissary at? I guess all the way around here. That's a sentry bot. What is this? Security control level 2. That. Nice. That worked perfectly. Turn on my flashlight. I can't see in here sometimes. Why are even the desks hard level unlock? Storage. Jeez Louise, what happened here? Sometimes this thing won't let me open up the, uh... 
menu, and it really sucks, because I want to not leave him on his own. General Martin Ratzlaff. General outfit, I'll take that. Base commander's desk. I deactivated them and sentry doors are opened. Take it. That was kind of worth it. What do you got back here? Plasma mine, pulse grenade, plasma mine. I guess that was worth it. Dude, this whole place is cool. I don't even know if I went the right place for some commissary. Another arc welder. Earth on my side because I hacked him. I got to find out how to get to the freaking commissary. Must have passed it up somewhere. Because I have no clue. This obviously leads up. I'm going to backtrack, I guess. Once I uh, prepare arc welders, pistol, and then bowie knives. Does he even say it still? It's a That's close. So guess I keep going around here. We're gonna explore, I guess. This 
another utility area. Only one left, okay. There's no place else here. I don't see where you go. For a commissary. I guess I'm going back the way I came. Nothing around there. There's only one space here. You can't go up. One path through. Might actually take their Bowie knives this time. But once again, really only one path. Oh, wait. What's over here? Did I miss this? No, this is Overseer's office. Already been here. Yep, okay, I just went down at one level to where I was. Okay, let's stop getting sidetracked. I guess commissary is not necessary, because I don't see a path to get to it. This is main entrance. There's no side doors or anything. Talk to ED real quick. Experience. Yeah, I didn't need to replay that, but I guess it's nice to be. Nice to my companion. 
Let's just head out the main entrance. Door to Hopeville. There's your signal. Faint, but there. Just like NCR. Voice without fire, without strength, sick. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier. You have a lot of hate for MCR. That kind of hate isn't new in the Mojave. No, not new. And none new among all those in the shadow I mean, I don't, of I don't the like bear. them either. What, don't hate me. You know their flag. A bear with two heads. Symbols an old world one. Had one head then. Better off for it. Their flag speaks to their spirit. They're split like any two-headed animal. Trying to go in different directions, ending up nowhere. In a Mojave, that'll only get you sand between your fingers or over your grave. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6. Like you, and not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. We've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes, it's the paths we walk, but no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places, the long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, it was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget. Couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. You're the one who sent the radio message. Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago. Long before the old world set fire to itself, he made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags, and he had to make them one. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it. Just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Killing is personal. So those vows, promises, last bits more important to me than the first. Wait, so you swore not to kill me? Why? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? Fair enough. You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words. I don't have any of these. Forget your name. Back to the job you refused. All right, courier. We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it for a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. 
If you, you were supposed to carry the chip? Meant to. No. Never. You're a burden. Weigh you down. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no. You are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. I agree. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking. If you want to be dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave is dangerous enough left to the land. If I wanted you dead, might be that history needs to have its say. How are you speaking through Edie? The robot Eddie, sorry. with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians, couriers carrying messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you. Carry it until we are face to face. Then there'll be no more need for it to carry my words. What is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now. Other than ghosts. More recent recruits. This area looks like it was hit with earthquakes or underground detonations. America sleeps in the divide. Giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. Also, is it like a nuclear silo? There's more. It exploded in the silo? It only takes a few of them locked below ground to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, Ash into the skies above. You'll see the extent, the miles of it, soon enough. You need to see it. Walk it. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still these new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with duty, purpose. Ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations mark them. Made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are. They've become ghouls, the radiation would strengthen them, heal their wounds, not the scars. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. The divine winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads, no way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you, can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead. 
if we share history, be, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in hope. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break. Road gets rougher from here. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Okay. So I could backtrack. Oh, so you could just fast travel straight over there. How is that the Hope Hopeville bunker entrance and it goes over the way all the way over here? So let me put on the right weapons here. Probably gonna use laser rifle for now since I have so much ammo for it. Is there anything this way? Okay. That is a warhead right there. Hopeville Missile Base. Let's keep exploring here. You are bad guys. I need a little better something than uh, this probably. Pull out Rat Slayer. Now nah, let's pull out Assault Carbine. I gotta get close for this. Yeah, they are pretty much ghouls. Take the twelve seven submachine gun. Why not? Markman Hunter. It's a brush gun. Don't need that.
got your back at all times, Edie. What in the world is that? What in the world? Oh, tri-beam laser rifle. That is ridiculous. Why is my view of this thing so messed up? So what's the tri-beam laser rifle? Jeez, please. Blade of the West. That's good. And Red Glare. Hey, Edie, are you still, like, not dead? Because I need to drop some stuff with you. Let me drop, uh, Arc Welder. Blade of the West. What else do I got? Um, let's give you RCW. I got plenty of missiles. And plenty of rockets, so that's good. What's that DPS looking like? 74. What's the laser rifle DPS? 57. Can I not repair that? Really can't repair that. Wow. I'm going to use this till it breaks and drop it. So nothing to loot around here. Wait, dynamite. Do you get two red glares? Really? Seems a little unfair. Okay. Wait, so it, it shoots different things. Rockets versus... Missile launcher shoots something else. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep... Keep the two different weapons. Let me pull out... He has a super sledge. If I could actually go back into my inventory here. I pull out... I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. Pull out lever action. Super stim pack. I gotta have better weapons than this. Even that kind of sucks. We're going to take another aid item here.
Well, that dude has an anti-material rifle. Okay, this thing is not not doing it for me here. Might have to give this to Edie. Hey, Edie. Eddie, sorry. I keep on saying the wrong thing. Let me give you this. I'll hold on to the BMG. Um, Goss rifle. There we go. It's just not doing it for me. Marksman carbine. I've wanted one of those. Oh, I can't even use the material rifle. That sucks. Freaking broken. And it weighs a thousand pounds. There you are. Super sledge. Don't really need it. I think there's some more stuff up here to loot. When I went, was trying to go in this door. Explosive crate, that's what it is. I kind of want to loot every explosive I can get. It seems like uh, I'm going to need some of this stuff. So marksman carbine, how good a condition is that in? Going way past it. Ooh, it's still good condition. So first off, I actually want to go back this way. Because... Where is... Is that the detonator? Laser detonator. There's one way back here. I want to see what that gives us to. This is not going the right way. Well, it's probably blocked in now. Did I have to... But yeah, I probably blocked myself in here, so I have to go this way to get out. Because there was one back here. I want to set it off. If there is a uh, quest for setting all of them off, might as well do that while I'm here. Two of 30. So it clears up. I, I can tell this is going to be used the whole time. It's going to clear up. Uh, this is women's barracks. It's going to clear up a pathway throughout the whole time. Path is blocked. No longer. MRE. I'll take all of those. Back here. Yeah. The heck is this dude? Marks McCarbine. Couple of y'all. They can follow me in buildings. I can see that. Plasma caster. That's worthless. Because. Yep. That's worthless for me. So. What else you got back here? Is 
Dang it. Seems like I always have trouble on average locks compared to freaking hard locks. It's crazy. U.S. Army combat armor. How, what, uh... Medium. This is also medium. Can I repair the combat armor? Nope. Hey, Edie, you want to carry this combat armor for me? Joshua Grams. Actually, I'll store Joshua Grams. I don't want to lose Joshua Grams ar uh, armor. Still over encumbered, really? Let me use, uh. Probably has some Sunset Sarsaparillas, right? Gotta have something to drop. Probably have some Bowie knives to repair. Drop that. There we go. Another plasma caster. Okay. So let's keep an eye out. Why am I moving so slow? Let's keep an eye out for some more, uh, any more of the warheads. I know they're going to be all over the place. I just got to keep a good eye out for them. What is this one? Hopeville Armory. Is getting very hard is uh it is in fact very hard y'all got anything good in here rocket canister oh they weigh Mini nukes, I like those. I like me some of them. Bowie knife, stint back. No, another brink mask. I know, I'm overweight. Get over it. Okay, I don't see much more in here. I say that and I immediately find more. Oh, riot gear and riot helmet. That's sick. Well, I'll give you, uh... I'm still overweight. I'm about to give you something. I can repair those. Some other weapon I'm about to give you. I'm about to give you this cyber dog gun, I guess. $20. 
27 pounds is a lot. I think we're gonna pretty close to wrap it up right here soon. Where are these other locations at? Put this gun away. I want to see where these locations are at. They don't seem very far away, so... Maybe explore a couple more locations before I head out. Can't go through that way. That sucks. Gotta go around. Okay, let's go the long way. We'll make a save here. End this part. Yep, head this way. It's the men's barracks. Okay, let me back up here. I think this is where I'm going to end the first part of this Lonesome Road DLC. We got a little bit into it. Talk to Ulysses through Eddie. I keep on calling him Eddie. Yeah, I get it. There's enemies coming. Doesn't matter. Uh, but this is where we're going to end it for now. Make a save. We explored a little bit. I don't think this is a very long DLC. I mean, for locations explored, I'm already most of the way through this first area. I think I'll quickly get through the next area. Ulysses, Ulysses Temple, that must be the, uh, the highest point. Or the ending of the games, or uh, this DLC. Well, this is where I'm going to end it for this part. So, see y'all next time.